In this video, we're gonna go over how to connect Google Sheets with WooCommerce in under three minutes, all for free. Okay, so the first step we need to do is we need to have a WooCommerce site and we need to have a Google Sheet that we want to use. So I'm gonna to go to Google Sheets and I'm gonna create a blank spreadsheet. So I'm gonna fill out name, email, order ID, date, and order total. Awesome. So I have my spreadsheet and I'm going to name it something like, you know, WooCommerce to Google Sheets, but feel free to name it anything you would like. Okay. Awesome. The next step I want to do is I want to export data from my WooCommerce store to Google Sheets. So how do we do that? And what is a good example? Well, we are going to do that right now. So we are going to be using Make. It's a free tool with the option to upgrade to a paid one but you should be able to do most of the stuff on the free tier to get the hand of it. So I'm gonna go to simongondek.com slash make. And I'm enter that in and I'm gonna get a free account and I am just going to register here and I'm going through all these steps just so you know and awesome. And I'm gonna sign up for free and I'm gonna verify my email. Perfect, so I'm going to sign in to my make account and this is where it gets going so i'm just going to put a bunch of random stuff awesome so i signed up for my make account and now i'm going to create my first scenario so i'm going to create a new scenario and i'm going to do woocommerce and i'm going to do watch orders just to start and right here i need to connect my woocommerce store to WooCommerce. So I'm gonna add a new account and I'm just gonna name this, you know, Charlie's Coffee. And I'm gonna go to my WordPress site that has WooCommerce right here. And I'm gonna go to my WooCommerce dashboard and I'm gonna go to WooCommerce settings. Next, I'm gonna click this advanced tab and I'm gonna click REST API. So WooCommerce settings, advanced, REST API, and click add key. So I'm gonna click add key and I'm gonna make this read and write, and I'm just gonna name this make. Awesome, so I have my consumer key and consumer secret, and if this is foreign to you, don't worry. I'm just gonna copy this, and I'm gonna go back to make, and I'm gonna type this in here, copy paste, come back here, copy paste, and then now I'm gonna need to put in my URL of my store. So I'm gonna copy this, put that in, perfect. Awesome. So right now I just want to do all the order statuses with the status processing. So I'm going to do it like that and I'm going to go, okay. And I want to do all just for a test. Sweet. So I'm going to do this and I'm going to do Google sheets and I want to add a row. So I need to add my account. Cool. And I'm going to add my account for here and it's gonna connect with my Google Sheet account. Awesome, and I should see this spreadsheet I just created, WooCommerce to Google Sheets, and new sheet one. The table does contain headers, and now I'm just gonna put in the name, billing first name, billing last name, email, you know, order ID, date, I'm gonna do date created, and I'm gonna do order total. Awesome, and here we go. So I'm gonna click this auto align button down here. I'm gonna click save, and now I'm just gonna click run once. So if I go back to my Google Sheet right now, nothing's there, but if I come here and I click run once, I can see that right here, data was populated here. So it's gonna run only one order per scenario, but if you wanna just do all your orders from now on, it will create, keep creating you know, past orders and filling up this Google Sheet. To take this a step further, I'm gonna edit this to have the limit of one be, let's say something like, let's try doing 100, or you could you know, increase or decrease that number if I wanted to export all my orders. And I'm gonna click save, and then I'm gonna run it again. Awesome, and I can see all these rows have now populated for all my orders on my WooCommerce store. And before we go, I'm gonna also just 
turn this scenario on. So I'm gonna turn this on and I'm gonna click save. And this scenario will run every 15 minutes and add all my orders every 15 minutes. But if you wanna pay for make on a paid plan and you want it you know, to run every one minute or every couple minutes, um, you're gonna have to pay for that. But for the free plan, you have to be on 15 minutes. So I'm just gonna click okay and click save. And then I'm also going to do a test order right now. So since the scheduling is on, I um, pre-filled a cart and I'm gonna proceed to checkout and I'm gonna place an order on my Charlie's Coffee Co. site. And I can see that order number is 2043. And if I come back here, this hasn't been added because I have to wait 15 minutes, but I could also just click this run once just to make sure everything was working. And I can see that this order that was added was 2043. And if I come back here, that row has now been added to Google Sheets. So that is how to easily connect Google Sheets with WooCommerce. If you guys got value out of this video, make sure to click that like, click that thumbs up. All links can be found in the description box below. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.